My name is Gordon Brunson. I'm a senior distinguished engineer at Avaya. My name is Mehmet Balasagun. I'm a distinguished engineer in Avaya. The industry was switching from telephony networks to packet switch data networks. Uh, the world growing and, and we need more bandwidth, more capacity, uh, a more cost-effective way of doing things. And then in 2001, with the trade towers coming down, it changed the conversation forever about what it takes to build a robust and fault-free network for the world's communications. When the trade towers came down, uh, those businesses were completely demolished and so were their communication networks at those buildings. We quickly repaired them using circuit switch technology, but that's a labor-intensive activity and it took a little bit of time to get them to get those companies back up and running with different personnel in a nearby location. The patent application was about an idea of providing a distributed IP communications network where IP-based endpoints that provide voice and multimedia services to the end users can connect to more than one servers, call servers or multimedia servers, so, so that we can provide a, a minimal service interruption service to the end users. Regardless of what happens in the first path to the network, the phone can continue to receive incoming calls and place outgoing calls. Prior to this patent, the way that was predominantly used was to wait for a failure and then react. And this creates a gap in service and an unsatisfactory experience. So for instance, if my normal preferred connectivity to a U.S., you know, Northeastern regional data center in the Northeast, um, and if there is a problem in the data center, let's say a power outage, I can get my incoming calls over an alternate data center, say in the Midwest or Western United States, without really experiencing a downtime as an end user. The Avaya phones use these advanced techniques to provide fault-free collaboration, uh, but we still host our competitors' phones and uh, third-party phones and they do what they've always done and they do it the best they can and, and the algorithm on the network side works for them as well. Um, just works with ours a little better. <laughs> Thomas Edison has been a, one of the greatest inventors uh, you know, in the world for, you know, for generations and you know, he has done inventions and prototypes and productizations in so many different fields. He said, so many different fields, it's a great honor for me to accept an award bearing his name. When I was in fourth grade, I was assigned a, an essay, my favorite American and how he served his country. My first essay that I remember, and it was about Thomas Edison. I've been an inventor all my career. I have almost 70 patents in some form of the process, but to have one actually rise to the level to be recognized uh, by this foundation, it's, it's quite an honor.